Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Adam and today we're going to be talking about a stock that has had lows as low as five cents all the way up to highs of $11 in the past 52 weeks. And I'm going to let you know my opinion right now we should be buying the stock currently priced at uh, around $2.20. Uh, and of course, we're talking about Genius Brands International. Let's get right into it. Okay. Uh, so you can see this stock has been incredibly volatile. Uh, at one point, it was trading at, at around five cents, uh, all the way up to eleven dollars, and uh, for much of the year has been trading pretty low. And then a lot of hype around um, basically a partnership with Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, and then again a bit of hype here, where in one day it traded um, at fifty-five percent above its current level, uh, and then back down again. So first of all. Uh, what is Genius Brands International? GNUS is a ticker symbol. So it is a leading global kids media company developing, producing, marketing, and licensing branded children's entertainment products. So uh, and consumer products for media. So basically, um, TV show, TV series, and it has multiple shows, uh, including Stanley's Superhero Kindergarten, which they announced that would be starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, one thing to point out is that this created a lot of the hype and a lot of the buying pressure for uh, Genius Brands International. But Arnold, he's receiving um, all his earnings via shares of this company. So again, it helps him if the stock price increases, but I just thought uh, you should know. Uh, and that probably in, in, uh, increased the price. And also uh, of note is Warren Buffett's Secret Millionaire Club. That's another series, right? Um, so again, here shows the 52 week low and high. I think that's insane. He invested at around like 20 cents and sold at like eight or nine dollars. Holy crap. Um, and right now the price is trading at two dollars and 23 cents. Um, and again, I think this hype was again around announcing that Arnold Schwarzenegger would be partnering and announced an, an announcement of their own um, uh, TV channel or cartoon series. Um, which we'll look at later. Um, but first of all, let's take a look at their financials. So quarterly, uh, let's see here. They have not been earning any money. In fact, they have been losing money, right? So uh, first quarter 2020, they lost net of $6 million. Um, fourth quarter 2019, lost $3.5 million. And you can see again here, it's not looking good, right? We'll look at the annual numbers. Uh, they're not looking any better. Um, and again, they also have diluted. So they increased the amount of shares from like 3 million all the way to 11 million or close to 12 million over the past uh, four years. Again, so that's that's not good. Um, I mean, again, you're looking at their net come, income, and it's, again, it's not looking any better. They have not been profitable in the past four years. They've been losing money. So look at their financials annually here. It's maybe a little bit uh, easier to see. So, well, look at that. So 2016, they've just been increasing their losses, and that's not a good sign. Uh, even quarterly, you look at that, they're not profitable at all. Even the last quarter, okay, this is a company that... Um, is supposedly supposed to do good in a pandemic, right? Because it's children's entertainment, and what are they going to do in a pandemic? It's just going to sit down and watch TV. But in fact, they had their most significant uh, decrease in earnings, so negative six million uh, in the in the latest quarter, with a revenue of only a third of a of a million. Okay, so I think that's uh, that's crazy. Um, let's just go through quickly some of their PowerPoint stuff. So, um, again, leading global media company, developing, producing, marketing, and licensing branded children's entertainment. Um, and again, their motto is content with a purpose. So teaching children something as well as entertainment. Now, I understand and respect this model. And I think it's, uh, I mean, it already has been done um, to some extent by producers such as uh, Sesame Street. Um, but again, they're doing it in a different way. So totally respect that. I, I understand that it's a very niche area, but I think I want to see some profitability before I'll invest any money in it. Okay, so um, these are all their series here and you can watch all their trailers. Again, pretty cool stuff. 
Um, and although they have their own channel, they also air some of their series on Netflix and I believe Amazon Prime. Um, this is on Nick Jr. I believe that's a channel. But yeah, see, so one of their so superhero kindergarten um, is in, and this is this is featuring Arnold Schwarzenegger, by the way, is in uh, is on Amazon Prime. And they're also they're in partnership with Alibaba, uh, or they produced it with Alibaba's help. Uh, and you can see they have you know their own little models and figures as well as bikes uh, based off of the characters. So again, very geared towards uh, small kids and teens. And I mean, I like this business model, but it's just not profitable. And it's very hard for me to invest in a company that's losing money, right? And and uh, rapidly trying to gain funds just so they can keep afloat, right? Um, so I mean, this is definitely not a company that I would be investing in. Uh, and again, doing a bit more research, so this latest uptick here, uh, if you go to the month chart, so in one day, it gained over 55% in the shareholder price. It went from $2.31 to $3.55 in a day, okay? And this is such a speculative stock, and it's traded highly on uh, Robinhood. And, I mean, this, uh, the Motley Fool says it pretty good. Uh, and they soared. Just on speculation, right? So they soared on that July 2nd, July 3rd day uh, because of an announcement that they were Genius Brands were going to hold a conference call to discuss an exciting business development. And it wasn't even clear what that business development was, right? Um, but again, this speculation sparked such an increase in the stock, which, I mean, again, that's to me, that's just insane, right? So, yeah. Um, and they go on to say that the maker of this children's video entertainment has become a darling of day traders on Robin Hood and elsewhere uh, during the pandemic. Again, so this this is a company that's supposed to be profitable um, and is seen as a beneficiary to the crisis, but it has not really proved that, right? Its most recent quarter were, was its worst. Um, uh, let's see. I don't think there's anything in it. And say they talk about the partnership. So it has launched its own channel and formed a strategic partnership with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, which he will have a voice and, and to his character in superhero kinder, kindergarten. I believe that was the one that was that's being aired on Amazon Prime. Um, so again, it's not profitable. I think as a long-term investor, I want to see some profitable profitability first before investing in it. Uh, and I, I think it's just too speculative for my liking. Um, I mean, if you're uh, able to get in and out of this stock and make a lot of money, props to you. Um, I necessarily don't feel comfortable with that, but anyways, I would love to hear your opinion of this stock, whether or not you would buy it and your reasons why. Uh, and if you like this video, please like, and subscribe and have a fantastic day.